What is good, Vibe Gang? This is your boy Ray here with another fucking video. The whole video, I'm going to look at the camera. Somebody in the comment section said that I couldn't do it. So, since you want me to look at the camera, then I'm going to look at the camera. Like, comment, subscribe. Hold on. Do all that. Federico cut the beat. Drinking tonight, second rodeo. Adam Calhoun. Adam. Adam. It is on you. You lose your friends when your dreams come true. People seem to change. I've seen a Yo, that felt so fucking weird, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna do that ever again in my whole entire goddamn life. I'm still gonna look at the camera, though. Few. I made my money, I can sing a tune, but the money ain't a thing. Thank you, me? Where you get that from, Mr. Cajun? <laughs> Where did you get, uh, that? <laughs> what was that, my nigga? <laughs> that came from the pits. The pits of your stomach, sir. Do that one more time, please. You lose your friends when your dreams come true. People seem to change. I've seen a few. I made my money, I can sing a tune, but the money ain't a thing. I'd rather sing the blues. You can see sometimes in life you have to let niggas know what you feel like singing. Adam, your voice in this one is crisp. You know what crisp? Imagine December 27th. Winter. Very, very cold. Go to your backyard or wherever you at, if it snows. At six o'clock in the morning, put your robe on, your, your I love Trump robe right in the back, put that shit on and walk outside with a cup of coffee. And then inhale that crisp, for, uh, 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 inhale that you get when you breathe outside. That's how your voice sounds. And bringing up Donald Trump, if Donald Trump gets elected president, he's he just showed all of y'all niggas that it doesn't matter if you have a record. Donald Trump is the most gangster motherfucker in the world, bro. Hush money. <laughs> Trump, what are you doing, bro? <laughs> Guys, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump built Trump Towers and <laughs> all these buildings in New York by hiring the mob. Does this really surprise anybody that he was found guilty? It doesn't mean. He's been an OG from back in the day. I just find it out now. That's old news. I knew that nigga was an OG from the beginning, bro. Facts. Sing a tune, but the money ain't a thing. I'd rather sing the blues. I like this. Every song they sing, got it. I thought he said he had a broke down nigga. 
You caught me off guard, Adam. Adam, I that was a punch. I thought he said he had a broke down nigga. We lay out there. There's a bunch out there, man. I know two of them personally. Yeah, I know who I'm talking about. That nigga broke a toe. He, he couldn't do nothing else after that. I gave him a toe. I can't go out, man. My toe hurt. Nigga, that was a year ago. A year ago. That toe is not even there no more. Ah, Lee. And not you, Larry. <laughs> I ain't talking about Larry. Larry had to take a toe out, but that was for, for other reasons. Larry's one of the hardest working men in the world. Larry's my boy. That's what I'm talking about. So I, I, I want to say that to make sure he knows that I'm not talking about him. I just, it's just, it's, I find it funny that I also know another person that doesn't have a toe. <laughs> I, I hang around with a whole bunch of toeless ass niggas. <laughs> Bro, got a broke down figure right in front of their home. Yeah. Whole lady still bitching, cause I can never do her right. Better bite your tongue, baby, cause I've been drinking tonight. He's going to slap the dog shit out of you, man. <laughs> oh, he's going to pop. That's that. DDT. Bow. I said shut up. God damn it. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. Big up. Right in front of their home. Yeah. Whole lady still bitching. Cause I can never do her right Better bite your tongue, baby Cause I've been drinking tonight Yo, yo can I be 100% honest with you guys? The whole album gets that, man Adam Calhoun wanted to go This is what I respect about the whole situation at, it did not this all of this shit did not deter him from 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 promoting this and, and focusing on the record he's been focused on the record he, he finished it, he gave it he put it out the record is fire like it is real I like the record I'll I, I I like it because Adam wanted to do something. He finished it, and he delivered. This is new territory to him. He, he 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 got it in his mind that he wants to do it. He did it, and he delivered. You have to respect that, no matter what. Not only did he do that and delivered, but I want a second rodeo. Or a third rodeo. I want a third rodeo. Let's have a third one. I don't mind it at all. I like this. This is good. And I, I, I'm a, I'm, I became a, a big country fan. I became, I became, I wasn't one back in the day. I, I never wanted to hear country. Boy, when I moved down south, very heavy population that listens to country music. So it's kind of everywhere. And there's a couple of them that I'm just like, oh, it's not bad. And then I get into it. And then I started doing YouTube and then church and jelly roll. And all these guys were introduced to me. And I'm just like, yo, I was blinded. I didn't, I didn't know this existed, ladies and gentlemen. Understand, I didn't know what the hell country, I thought there was only one country rapper and that was Kid Rock. That's it. I am dead ass with you. I didn't know who Jelly Roll was. I didn't know who none of these people were. I knew about Kid Rock, and that was back in like 98, 99. That's why I, I'm so happy that I decided to do YouTube, because it brought me a range of different type of rap, different type of hip-hop, different type of music. And I'm a music head. I love music. I, I, I take a shower, listen to music. I take a shit, listen to music. I fuck. 
listening to music. I, all that. Work, drive, anything that I'm doing, I have to have music playing. I have to hear something. When I, when I sleep especially. And you have to respect an artist that's going to throw himself out there in something in a new territory with his horns down. Ramming that shit. I'm going to do it and I'm, and I'm going to succeed. And it's awesome. The album is fucking awesome. So the whole album thus far, because we almost done. We got one more track left. I'm already calling this album great. 110% great album. Through and through. There, there's some songs that I favor over others, but it's still a solid album. So shout out to Adam Calhoun for going out there showing these motherfuckers I work for real, for real. <laughs> I don't know. I'm fucking high as shit. And you know what's crazy? I found um, a little bottle underneath the counter from when we hit the 100K and I went live. There was another bottle of Fireball in, in, under here. <laughs> and I went down because something fell and I went to go pick it up. And I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? And I looked at it. It was full. It was full. Cracked that bitch open. I took the whole fucking bottle to the face. Dude, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me. Alcohol abuse. <laughs> and I and I drank it. And then I smoked a lot. So this is this is I'm I'm this is vibe reactions. Vibe. I'm chilling. Y'all niggas want to leave, y'all can leave. Peace. I'll see y'all niggas later. I'll be here, though. Still listening to Drink It Tonight by Adam Calhoun, Second Rodeo. Get the album. Streaming everywhere. In the night. Everybody got the same damn problem. So many got a broken heart. I used to come here to feel alright Now I come here to fall apart Every song they sing Got an older road Got a broke down pickup Right in front of their home Whole lady still bitching If it was a, is a Ford, it's probably the starter Check the starter Take a hammer, slap the cylinder how, while somebody's turning the key, try that. Because if it's a, because you know why I said that, I work in the automotive industry for seventeen years. Sixteen. Sixteen years. I'm going on seventeen in July, August. And this whole week, we have done six starters on a Ford. Slap it. You'll get at least another week, week and a half by slapping the starter. It's uncomfortable. It's a fucked up way to start your shit. But it's going to be 740. Man. Right in front of their home. Whole lady still bitching. Because I can never do her right. Better bite your tongue, baby. Because I've been drinking tonight. I can see myself in in a in a saloon, uh, at the bar, drinking whiskey straight. Listen to this song about. But I don't want to go home because I might slap my wife. She's Aunt Flo came into town this morning, and I had a long day at work. What time you guys close? Sir, this is a Walmart. <laughs> Oh man, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. Yeah, I just thought about this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stop smoking weed for my reactions, and I'm gonna buy the small bottles of all different type of liquors. So, because I have different personalities with the different type of liquors that I drink, just a small one, and every night I'll take one shot of whatever is it that I get that day.
Y'all never seen Hennessy Ray. You don't want to see Hennessy Ray. I start getting to my feelings and shit like that. It's just fucking crazy. I don't know why. You don't, you don't want you don't want to see Rum Ray. No, you want to see Rum Ray. I'm live at the party. <laughs> that was whiskey though. So whiskey Ray is this. Nice to meet you. Oh, baby, because I've been drinking tonight. Did Adam just turn me into an alcoholic? <laughs> Adam, man. I have a, I have a very addictive personality, my nigga. You can't be you can't be talking about. Man, I'm just going to stick the weed, bro. Every song they sing got an older road. Got a broke down figure right in front of their home. Yeah. Old lady still bitching because I can never do her right. Better bite your tongue, baby, because I've been drinking tonight. Yeah. There's only one thing about this, but I think it's mostly all country music that does it. The repetitiveness of the hook is the only thing that I don't like about it. Is the repetitiveness on the hook. But that's I think that's all country music that they do that they they because it's it's different. I I I'm looking at it in a listening to rap sense but i always have to remind myself that this isn't rap this is something completely different and you have to listen to it with different type of ears you can't use the same ears that you're listening to rap to listen to country music because it's never going to work out so i get confused sometimes in the midst of it because you know adam is a rapper but when it comes to country music is like the repetitiveness i think what did, did what i didn't like about country music before was is the repetitiveness of the hook over and over again, saying the same line over and over again. I don't personally like that. But it's how that 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 section in the country, in that song, how is it that you're going to use that time of what you want to talk about? How are you going to deliver that is the most important part, is that part right there. The hook is just to catch you in, to reel them in, with a, with a catchy hook and something that they could sing and sing along with and, and you know, feel. But when you when it, when it comes to the actual verse that he's going to lay on this, it has to be clear. It has to be to the point. It has to be a story in, in because you have to win the fans over and, and have the fans feel where you're coming from in whatever story you're trying to tell us. So I think in that part, Adam did absolutely amazing. But the repetitive hook is really not his fault because that's just that genre of music that does that. Like rappers, some rappers do that shit too and, they, and they, they'll they do one verse and they'll repeat that hook over and over again. And I'm just like, all right, cool. But you don't want to overkill that hook because like Eminem's, the, the, like the the... The song that just dropped the Eminem's. That's the only thing that I don't like about it is the hook. It's a catchy hook, but it's it's like I heard the hook more than what he rapped, and he rapped a lot, but it was like the old the hook overtook it. And he does that over and over and over again, and I was like, eh, I don't like it because it's repetitive. Like if you left it, just re repeat it twice and then go to the verse. Repeat it twice, go to the verse. That's cool. But it was over and over, and I was like, I'm I'm good. I'm good. But Eminem killed it. I ain't gonna fuck a lot of you. That nigga, that nigga said, fuck you and everybody else. <laughs> go ahead, Adam. I hope I explain myself correctly on how I feel about the album. Because I don't want people to think that I'm, I'm trying to hate on anything that Adam is doing. I'm just telling you my personal opinion of what I don't like about it. But overall, for what matters of the album, yes, absolutely, 100%. I fuck with it. But that's just, it is what it is, nigga. Y'all niggas can believe me whatever y'all want. Nigga, turn off the fucking video if you don't like it. That's Whiskey Ray. Never do her right.
night Better bite your tongue, baby Cause I've been drinking tonight Yeah, same old lady still bitching Cause I can never do her right Better bite your tongue, baby Cause I've been drinking tonight You lose your friends when your dreams come true People seem to change, I've seen a few I need you to repeat that one more time. Bro. Your friends when your dreams come true. You lose your friends when your dreams come true. If that's not a fact, then I don't know what's more of a fact than that. Those words alone speaks volumes, Adam. In my heart. Oh, you don't you don't have Adam Cohen's poster up on your wall. My fat ass don't want to get up, man. Fuck you. You're right. I don't have one. Breaking the night. You lose your friends when your dreams come true. People seem to change. I've seen a few. Adam. That song was fire. I like that song. That song made me feel special about a lot of things. It's bullshit how he got hurt just to take that picture. My nigga, did I say play it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this song was fire. I absolutely love it. And I absolutely love the album. This, it, it does have replay value. This album do, it is going to be on my playlist. I am going to be mixing it in with a lot of other things that I have on, on a separate playlist. Because I have a kind of a hip-hop playlist, and I have like a whole country playlist, and I have a whole rock and everything else playlist. So he's definitely gonna, this album's definitely going in there. Because uh, I want to mix with everything else, because I fuck with it. It's a good song, too. This is good music to listen to when you're doing shit around the yard, and or in the pool and you're just relaxing, doing shit, building something for the house, whatever the case is that you're doing. It's good music to listen to because he talks about real shit. Huh? I hear my fucking wife. I'm gonna slap the bitch in the face. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, do all that. If you don't know who Adam Count Who is, his name, link, everything is down below on the description. Please go ahead and follow my man, show him some love. This album is fire. Go back and watch all the rest. Not watch. Go listen to the rest of the album on your own time. Go to his link. Go stream it. It's on everywhere. So go get that. And when you're done listening to the album, then go check out my reactions. I got a couple of them. I did, I, I, I did all of them almost. I got one more left. If you want. I ain't going to force you to do nothing. But subscribe, though, nigga, because it counts. There, that's it. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Relax. 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 That's fine.